Please help my daddy. Something's wrong with him. Just please watch over my brother George, please. Please help my mijo. He's done so much for this town. There sure is a lot of people down there praying for George Bailey. We should send someone to help. And um, what about the clothes maker? Clarence? He doesn't even have his wings. Send, send, send Clarence. Clarence! Yes, sir. We got a job for you. Well, there's a man down there named by George Bailey. He needs your help. If I if I do a good job, will I get my wings? It's been 200 years. Yes, Claire. Yes. Do you see that town right there? Where? I can't see anything. Well, I forgot you don't have your wings here. Oh, now I see. I bet you can't catch me. Is that George Bailey? Yes, that one. That's when he was 12 years old. Uh, pay attention because something is part of going to happen. Race you guys to the top. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the amazing George going to do a dive. You sure are all pie. Come on, Sammy. Eeyaw. Eeyaw. And next we have Super Ernie. The Super Ernie. And finally, my kid brother, Harry the Scaredy Cat. I'm not scared. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, George. Help me. Help me. George, help me. I'm going to die. I got you. Whoa. Oh, my ear. Oh, my ear. So what happened to his ear? He got deaf in his left ear, so he can't. He can never hear no more. Oh, uh, I got to go to work. All right. See you, guys. Who's that in the wheelchair? That's old man Potter. He owns everything in town. <laughs> no. Here, George, take these to Miss Taylor. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Don't talk back like to me like that. Put something bad in those capsules. It wasn't your fault. You were sad. Well, let me see those pills. I'm sorry, George. No, don't hit my bed here. No. I'm sorry. No. What about this one? Real leather and combination locks. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 none of these. Look, now look, Joanne, I want a big one. What'd you stop it for? I want you to take a good look at that face. Who is it? George Bailey. Oh, you mean the kid that got his ear slapped by the pharmacist? That's the kid. It's a good face. I like. I like George Bailey. Did he? Tell me. Did he ever tell anybody about the pills? Not a soul. A big one. See, I don't want it just for one night. I want it for a thousand and one nights. They have labels from Italy, Greece, and Japan. A flying carpet. I see. What about this one? Now you're talking. Hey, he even got my name. No charge. What? What? Um, you said that in my trick there. It sounded like you said no charge. It's a gift for Mr. Goward. It is? Well, what do you know? My old boss. Hi, Ernie. Hi, George. Hey, Bert. George. Ernie, I'm a, fi I'm a rich tourist today. How about taking me home in style? With that, I'll put in my head. Some 
dress you got on there, Violet? Oh. This old thing I just wear when I don't care what I look like. Mm. Goodbye, boys. Mm. George, Harry, you're shaking the house down. Hey, Mom. Hi, Ann. Have, hey, you boys have a good time at the dance tonight, okay? Mm -hmm. Aren't you gonna eat something? Nah, I already ate. Hi, George. Hi, Pop. Thanks, Annie. Hey, son, Nat, I know you're going on your trip, but can you come back and work at the business alone? Pop, I can't stay here. I wanna see the world. I'm gonna do big things you're gonna see. Hey, Annie, why don't you pull up a chair so you can listen better? You guys never say anything interesting anyways. Man, this place is jumping. Got that right. Oh. Hey, look, it's Mary. Now's your chance. Yeah. Mary, may I have this dance? Sure, George. It's time for the Jitterbug Contest! Guys, won't you come out tonight? Won't you come out tonight? Buffalo guys, won't you come out tonight? Won't you come out tonight? And dance by the light of the moon. If it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. Why don't you say it? Well, maybe I will. Hey, how old are you anyway? I'm 18. 18? It was just last year that you were 17. Too young or too old? No, no, just right. Well, why don't you kiss my hand? Mary? Buffalo girls want to come out tonight. Fine, then we'll just throw rocks at this old house. No, no, I love that house. One day I would love to live in that house. No, see, you get, you make a wish and then you break some glass, like this. <laughs> what did you wish for? Not one wish, but a whole hat for. I want to see the world. Russia, Asia, Colosseum, Italy, and Japan. Then I'm going to come back and go to college. Then I'm going to get out of this crummy old town and build buildings, skyscra skyscrapers, and bridges. Hey, nice shot. What'd you wish for? Before look out. Come, come out tonight. Come out. Oh! Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Won't you come out? George, your dad had a stroke. No, no. This is only for you, George. I know you're gonna hurry to the train. Uh, I have a taxi waiting for me downstairs. I want everybody to know that George gave up his trip to Europe for he could take care of some business. Well, well, thanks. Now we come to the real purpose of the meeting. We need someone to take Peter's Bailey's place. I think we could close our business and loan. George, did you hear what that old buzzer said? It's too soon after Peter Bailey's death to close a business and loan. Ah, I propose to vote. I'll, I'll ask George and Uncle Billy to leave. Well, thank you. Well, we've been voted out of business for 25 years. Easy come, easy go. Oh, I can find a new job, I'm only 55. Well, George, you still want me to hang around for a minute? Well, yeah, I'll be right down. I got the news for you. They voted down part of it. They want you to take over. Whoopee! No, no, Uncle Billy, he's your man, <laughs> not me. I'm going to college. So what happened to George? His dad, he stayed and ran the business and no. George got four years older. He sent Harry to college. He came back, married, and a football hero. Look, there's all kinds of jobs for a person like me that like wants to travel. Look, I could be an engineer in Venezuela or Alaska or Alaska. Nah. Toot, toot! Oh, look, there's the train. 
Hey Harry, how was college? Yeah, it was all right. What's up? What's up, Uncle Vinny? You guys didn't change the video. Let me introduce you to my wife, Ruth Dakin. Ruth Dakin Bailey, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry. What? Married? Why didn't you tell anybody? I told you I had a surprise. Here she is. Nice to meet you. What's a girl like you marrying my brother? Well, I felt sorry for him. And my father gave him a job. He gets you and a job? Man, you're lucky. Man, it's raining. Let's get out of here. So, Ruth, tell me about this job. It's a good job, but not, not much money, but it's a good future. Hey, Harry. Hey, what's up, George? George, I know you've been holding the bags for four years, but I'm not taking the job. Harry, you're gonna take the job. Thank you, George, you're the best. You know, Harry, sure does seem happy, huh? Yeah, 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 Ruth is a nice girl, yeah. Mary's back into town today. Yeah, she is? Yeah, you should go pay her a visit. Uh, maybe I will. Hey George, what are you doing? Well, well, nothing. What are you doing, Violet? Nothing. Well, you want to make it a night? Sure. Let's go barefooted through the fields and up the mountain. What, George? Are you crazy? Ah, forget it. What are you doing? Protesting? No, oh, hello Mary, I was just walking by. I noticed. Have you made up your mind? How's that? Have you made up your mind? About what? Your mom just phoned and said you were going to pay me a visit. My mother just called you. Well, how did she know? Well, didn't you tell her? I didn't tell no one. I just went for a walk and happened to be passing by. Well, are you coming in or aren't you? I'll come in for one minute, but I didn't tell no one that I was coming over. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. So, when did you get back? Tuesday. Uh, Where did you get that dress? You like it? Oh, it's all right. I thought you would go back to New York like Sam and the rest of them. Well, I worked there for a couple of vacations, but... Hmm, I don't know. I guess I got homesick. Homesick from Bedford Falls? Yes, my family and y everything is here. Mary, who are you talking to? It's just George Bailey, Mom. What does he want? So what do you want? Well, nothing. I just came in here to get warm. He just came to steal me away, Mother. <gasps> what? Oh, it's time to go home right now, and you stay here too. Remember, Sam promised to call you from New York tonight. Your mom doesn't have to get all mad like that. I didn't come over to, to. So what did you come here for? I don't know. You tell me. You're the one with all the answers. Okay. Well, why don't you just go home? Mary, it's Sam. I forgot my hat. We are Sam. How are you doing? Oh, gee, it's great to hear your voice again. That's awful sweet of you. Here's a friend of yours, George Bailey. Oh, you mean all oh, Mossback George? Put him on the phone. Eeyaw. The Mossback George. Hold on, let me go call him. George, they're calling you. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Oh, old George Bailioski trying to steal my girl? No, I was trying to steal your girl. Yeah, yeah, here's Mary. Oh, wait a minute. I want to talk to both of you. Get Mary on the phone. Okay, wait. He wants to talk to both of us. I got, I got a big deal for us to make us all rich. Remember 
George, remember that night that you said you wanted to make plastics out of soybeans? Oh, uh, what? What? Yeah, soybeans? Yeah. Dad snapped up an idea. He's going to make a factory outside of Rochester. Remember that old factory? Your dad could get that for peanuts and all the workers. Oh, oh, oh that's a great idea. Do you got some money? Money? Yeah, a little. Hey, Mary. Oh yeah, I'm here. Tell that guy that I'm giving him a chance of a lifetime. You hear a chance of a lifetime. He says it's the chance of a lifetime. Oh, Mary, I don't want none of it. I don't want soybeans. I don't want marriage. I don't want none of it. Oh, Mary. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, look at this, Mary. I got, this is for our honeymoon. This is for our honeymoon. How much is it? $2,000. Wow. That is a lot of money. Hey, what's all that commotion? Wait a minute, Mary. Let me go check. Why are all the doors closed? The bank called and left in alone. I paid it with dollar money. I didn't know what else to do, George. I want my money back. I have three hundred dollars here. How much do you need to get by? Three hundred dollars. Oh, all right, all right. Here. I need two hundred and twenty dollars. How much do you need just to get by? Okay, 20. Oh, thanks, you're a peach. How much do you need just to get by, just to get by? I'll take 17.50. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Three, two, two one. one, we, we made, made it. it! With two dollars left, mama dollar, papa dollar. We need you guys to make us some babies. Dun, 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 dun. We did it. Hello? George, it's Mrs. Bailey. Mrs. Bailey, my mom? Oh, my wife! What? Okay, I'll come home right away. What? What home? Mary, don't you ever wish for something more? Remember the time when we made wishes? This is what I wish for. And for a family. Are you serious? George and Mary ended up having four children. Welcome to your new home. Thank you, George. I now I know my own house. Now we don't have to live like pigs in Mr. Potter's field. Excellent. Here's a cupcake so this house will never be hungry. Thank you. Here's a juice so this house may never be thirsty. Thank you. Now I don't have to pay Mr. Potter. Bye, Bye. Thanks. No problem. No problem. Hey, Sam, how you doing? No, I'm all right. I'm just opening the new plastic factory. I'm just telling you, Miss that in a chance of a lifetime. Ah, we know, we know. See you, pal. Hey, don't worry. I still have another cupcake. Cool. I knew I married you for something. No skin off my nose, but we need to do something about the Bailey's business and loan. He's making it so all your renters can buy houses. So what? Well, less renters means less money. Well, something must be done. Send for George Bailey. Well, thanks. If you like him, I'll send you a box. So what exactly did you want to talk to me about? Hmm, that's what I like about you, George. Right in the pool. George, I know I'm an, I am an old man, but some people don't like me and I don't like them either, so that makes it even. You're right. I own everything in this town except the building and loan. I tried to control it or kill it, George, but you beat me. Well, well, that's how my dad would have wanted it. George, you're married, you're 28, and what? What do you make, 40 a week? Forty-five. All right, right. Forty-five. 
get to pay your bills, take care of your kids. You live with 10 bucks. No, 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 what's your point, Mr. Potter? My point, my point in this, I wanna hire you. Hire me! I want you to run my affairs. I'll start you on $20,000 a year. $20,000 a year? You wouldn't mind living in the nicest house in town, would you? Would I? You're not talking to someone else around here, are you? Remember, it's me, George Bailey. Oh, yes, George Bailey. Your chip just came in. Well, what about the building and loan? Come find it, man. Do you want the jab or not? Uh, I don't know, Mr. Potter. Can I think about it for 24 hours? Sure, sure, sure. Go talk about it with your wife. I'd like to do that. In the meantime, I will drop the papers. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have to talk to no one. The answer is no. No, doggone it. You sit around, you spin your little webs, and you think the whole world revolves around you and your money. Well, it doesn't, Mr. Potter. And in the whole grand scheme of things, I'd say you were nothing but a squirmy little spider. That goes for you, too. Peace in the mouth. Then came the war. Bird fought in French. Ernie fought in Germany. Hurry out, there's a maw, and he saved a whole platoon. George couldn't go to the war because his bad ear. He did help out by collecting scrap metal. Ah, fooey. Uncle Billy, I need you to go deposit this money. The bank examiner's coming in okay, today. Okay, no problem. George, I need to review the books. You can't take these babies down. Oh, give me that. Oh, the old fool. Yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. Oh, where did I leave the money? That's $8,000. $8,000. George, I don't know what I did with the money. You know what this means? One of us could go to jail. You Girls, get ready. Dad's coming in for Christmas Eve. Okay, Mommy. Well, everything's... Oh, my God. Everything. What's wrong, George? Oh, no, everything's fine. Daddy, how you spell hallelujah? Ah, you go get a dictionary and you... Haven't you learned that stupid song yet? Oh! Is this my daughter's teacher? Don't you ever send her home without a jacket. And if I ever see you, I'm gonna mess you up. Mr. Potter, I need a loan of $8,000. Oh, now you need my help. $8,000, do you have a collateral? I have this life insurance worth $500. You want $8,000 with only 500? I'm calling the cop. Hello, the cops? I had George Bentley right, right here. <laughs> Ernie, I need your keys. These? Yeah. Come on, I'm not messing with you. If you're up there, I need some help. Give me another sass bar. Anything for you, George Bailey. Are you George Bailey? Who wants to know? Me. Well, Don't you ever talk to me like that on the phone. Ah, stupid. 
car. Forget you, Bedford Falls. Why'd you jump over the bridge anyways? To save you. To save me? Yes, you were gonna jump out over the bridge, weren't you? Uh, no, I wasn't. I'm your guardian angel. My guardian angel? I seen your life and I know you're in a lot of trouble. Oh yeah? Well, you wouldn't have to have $8,000, would you? I'm an angel, I don't need money. If you're an angel, where are your wings? I don't have my wings, but if I help you, I'll get my wings. Uh, what difference does it make? Probably be better if I was never even born. Okay, I granted your wish. You're never born. What? What? I checked upstairs and you're never born. I could hear with my left ear. What? 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 Hey! Our clothes are dry! Yep, we never fell in. What? What? Welcome to Pottersville! Yep, he bought the whole town up when... and they changed the main. What happened to my car? I crashed into this tree! You never had a car! You never existed! There is no George Bailey. I need a drink. Let's go. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Hey, that's Mr. Gower. Yup, he was in prison for 20 years. What did he do? He killed the lady with poison pills because you weren't there to stop him. So now he's an old bum? Yep, because you weren't ever born. So no one knows who I am? Nope. You've been given a great gift to see what the world would be like if you were never born. No, 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 it can't be true. I told him. What's wrong with this place, Pottersville? What? Clarence, is this all real? Yep, this is what your life would be like if you were never born. Well, what about my family, my wife? Look down there. No, no, Harry! No. What, what, what happened? You weren't there to save him. And, and what about Mary and my mom? Mary's an old maid, and your mom runs a boarding house. No, I gotta see him. Who are you? Don't you know me? I'm your son, George Bailey! George Bailey! Look, I don't have any sons, and there's no more room for it. You don't know who I am? You need help. <laughs> Mary, Mary! Do I know you? It's me, George, your husband. Husband? I don't have a husband. Yeah, yeah, I'm your husband. What? Help me, help me. Oh, that oh, thing was my wife. Oh, my wife. Oh. That's my wife. That's not your wife. That's not your wife. You're about to go to the crazy house. That's my wife. <laughs> George, George! You want another one, Copper? No, I saw your car. 
You know who I am? This you is just Bailey. You know my name, yes! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Bedford Foss! Merry Christmas, you old business alone! Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas, Mr. Potter! You too, you big old goon! Is it crazy? Mommy, is Daddy coming back? Yes, he'll come back. Merry Christmas! Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Merry Christmas! I'm sorry, Mary, how I acted. I acted horribly. George, I called Uncle Billy and he told me everything. I also called the town and they, they're coming. They're coming to help. Are you for real? They're here, Daddy. They're here. I'm going to jail. Isn't that great? Okay. Look, George, we're not going to jail. We have enough money. Everybody pitched in. Woohoo! Forget it, George. Hey, Harry. Cheers to my big brother, George, the richest man in town. Look, Daddy, teacher says when a bell rings, an angel gets his ring. That a boy, Clarence. Not one wish, but a whole half one. I'm gonna see the world. Lamar, Arvin, J Street. And then I'm gonna build lowriders, playstations, and even a wig. And in the whole grand scheme of things, I'd say you were nothing but a screaming little spider. That goes for you, too. <laughs> Hold on, I got another call. I'm trying to use the phone. Hold on, I got another call. I'm trying to use the phone. So when did you get that dress? <laughs> so when did you get that dress? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> George and Mary ended up having four. <laughs> Action! Everyone walks in, go. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. All right, let's try. Action. Jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Action. I want it back, Clarence. I want it all back. Give me my life back, please. Please. George, George. Want another one, Copper? No, George. I saw your car. What? You know who I am? You're your church belly. You know who I am? Yes. I just don't. <laughs>